So today we're going to show you how to use the PIC16 F6019 MPLAB X and the Curiosity board, as well as its debugger to flash an LED on and off. We're going to start by creating a project in MPLAB X. You can do that uh, as you can see right here in the fast forwarded view. Make sure to choose the Curiosity board option for the debugger and create a file inside of your source file for a C main file like this. Inside modify that C main file like this, making sure your void in the main is there. Add a variable here on line uh, 14 and then have a little line on line 16 as well as the xc.h file. Uh, if you are missing your dashboard, make sure to include it. That way you can see the details about your chip on the left hand side of the screen, including the breakpoints that are available on this particular chip. So we now set up a breakpoint on line 16. And the next thing we're going to do is compile the program to see if it actually works, or at least is valid C code. Uh, once that's done, now we got to get some details about what's going on on the chip. And we do that by first looking at the Curiosity board schematic in the data sheet for the board. Um, we scroll down to where the schematic is and we look for LED or LED D6 and it's connected, as we can see, to RA2, which means the port A bit 2 uh, portion of the register. So register port A bit 2 is responsible for turning that LED on and off. Okay, so now that we've got that, hit the debug button. And what happens is that it loads the code onto the board and make sure that your watchdog is turned off. And once it's loaded onto the board, it will proceed to the breakpoint and halt. That's a good thing. So we can see that the breakpoint line is now green. We want to open up the little register views that allow us to see inside the chip. IO view is one of the views I like to use, but one of the other views that you can use and we will use here is the SFR view or special function register view right there. And this allows us to take a look at the important registers that we have to now look at in the data sheet for the PIC 169 or 16F1619. Um, RA2 is what we're interested in. And with this particular chip, RA2 requires a modification to the analog select register and cell A, as well as latch A, port A, tris A as well. And in the data sheet, you can see some of the details about that. So we go back into the special function registers view. And what we're going to do is we're going to clear all of the bits on port A. That means making them all zero, as you can see right here. Next, we're going to do that to latch A, as was documented in the data sheet. So we look for lat A. And this might take a little bit of work um, to scroll up and down in the SFR view, but you'll find it eventually. So lat A needs to have all of its eight bits set to zero. Um, so we're going to make that cleared out like this, make them all zeros, hit enter, it registers it with the chip. Next up, we need to look at Ancel A. And in this case, we're going to be a little bit more particular uh, and specific, and we're going to look at bit two and set it to zero to turn off analog functions on RA2. We do that, hit enter, and that's good to go. Next is Tris A or Tri-State A register. We want to make sure that now that that um, bit is a digital bit, digital pin, we want to make sure it's an output, not an input. And Tri-State A is responsible for that by setting it to zero. So bit two of Tris A is now a, a zero, which makes it an output. Next up, we want to make sure that latch A bit two is one hit enter and that turns on the LED. Make that bit zero and the LED will turn off. Um, so one is a five volt output, zero is a zero volt output. And that's how you make the LED blink using the debugger and MPLAB X on the Curiosity board.